What is up? What is up, guys? It's Chris, and we're back doing another video. Today's video is going to be targeted at how to get rid of aquarium algae. But first, I got to check on my quesadilla that I'm making. So, uh, and I'm just a real dude here with a house full of fish tanks. Here's my little uh, quesadilla maker. That thing is ready to come off. All right. A boy's got to eat, right? So dealing with aquarium algae is like the worst thing in the world. And please forgive the mess. I have a five-year-old daughter and we spoil the heck out of her. All right, guys, I'm going to get right to it. I'm going to give you seven tips to getting rid of aquarium algae. The first tip to getting rid of aquarium algae is to realize that algae is actually a good thing in our fish tanks. And I know this may sound crazy, but... Algae tells us that the aquarium is a well-rounded ecosystem. For example, you can see a buttload of algae right there and it looks disgusting and I hate it. Uh, it's taking over that sponge filter as well, but it's not an issue. I would say not having algae is a bigger issue than having algae. Step number two to getting rid of your aquarium algae is to not go out and buy a pleco or an algae eater fish. A lot of people are misunderstood about this. I get asked all the time, hey Chris, can I go buy a pleco? The answer is no, because a pleco may take care of like a small percentage of that algae, or even uh, even if it was a majority, plecos poop so much. A lot of people don't know this, and their bio load, you may, you may replace the algae, but what it's going to replace it with is poop. Uh, I've done so many videos on this, and plecos, do not buy plecos in your aquarium. I mean, you can buy small little bristle noses or something, but a lot of the times, those big plecos, it's a nightmare. So, and you might ask yourself, should I get some snails? Should I get some uh, shrimp? The answer is maybe on that one. The third trick to reducing and getting rid of algae in your fish tank is to raise your lighting. A lot of people screw this up because what they do is they set up their fish tank and they have an aquarium lid and they just set the light right on top of the lid. And what's happening is it's too close to the water. It's too close to the plants. And a lot of times it just like radiates or just bounces off everything. And that's why we don't use lids. And we, we have like six inches in between the light and the aquarium. You will notice all of my aquarium lights are raised and this helps a lot with aquarium algae. And what I will say is, depending on the amount of algae or what the plants tell you they want, you can raise and lower it. And I know a lot of people complain and they say, hey, Chris, we can't raise the aquarium light because we don't have racks like you do. Or, you know, we just have a, an aquarium stand with the aquarium. And, uh, you know, I don't know what to tell you, but you gotta figure out a way to lift the lights. Like for, for example, I built a custom bracket back there that holds the light just like six to eight inches above this aquarium because this light was too bright. Let me give you an idea here. You can see there, those are corner brackets. What you could do is maybe put some of those against the wall on your aquarium and raise the aquarium light because it's going to help drastically get rid of aquarium algae. My fourth tip to having less algae in your fish aquarium is to add more aquarium plants. Let me give you an example. This aquarium right now is stuffed full of aquarium plants, right? And it doesn't look like there's a lot of algae. But if we go to a tank over here that's more bare, and sorry about the reflection in the house, guys. Um, there's just so much light in here. But this tank doesn't have barely any plants in it. If we come overhead here, there's all this open space. And what's happening is uh, there's too much lighting for the amount of plants, if that makes any sense. Number five on the list is test your water. And why we do this is because we wanna see if there's excess amounts of nutrients in the water. For instance, use some test strips um, we use these because they're easy, easy and readily available, or else you can use a water test kit, the API ones. Uh, there's tons of different types. What we're doing, guys, though, is we're testing to make sure that there's not like a weird thing in the water like nitrates, you know, ammonia, nitrates. A lot of times when it gets hit with sunlight, it just blows up in algae. So what we want to do is test to make sure we don't have ammonia or nitrates in the water, because if something weird is happening, uh, they, we will literally blow up with algae like overnight. Number six on the list is what type of lighting are you using? I have found through testing that cheaper LED lights grow more algae. And I know that some people are going to disagree with me, but like 
Some of these, here's an example, like if this is a super cheap, like Chinese LED light and there's barely anything to it, um, I find that these tanks grow a lot more algae and uh, they just take a lot more manual cleaning. This sort of sucks because a lot of us don't want to spend, you know, a lot of money on plant lights, but it is what it is, guys. Like for instance, this is a beams work light. This is maybe like $40 for a 20 inch light, which is mildly expensive versus this light over here is like $16. You can just tell by the design of it. It's paper thin. Uh, the LEDs, there's just, they're, they're, what happens is there's tiny, small LED diodes in there and they just don't do as well for the aquarium plants. Uh, this tank, it's bombed out with algae like every other week. And now you might think you save money by buying a cheaper LED light, but in the long run, like I'm about to throw this thing away and just go get it myself like a better beams work light or maybe a higher light because I'm finding with testing that the cheap Chinese LED lights, uh, well, I shouldn't say Chinese. I'm just saying cheaper quality built lights. They grow more algae and I'm sure the trolls are going to eat this stuff up like crazy. But guys, this is my real world testing experience. Um, at one point we had like 60 planted tanks in the house and um, these are my tips and tricks on how to get rid of aquarium algae. So hopefully this helps you. And a lot of times guys, there's no, you cannot replace the fact of you just going in there manually and just cleaning the stuff. Because a lot of times it's a, what you have to do is master the whole ecosystem. You know, you need the plants to do extremely well for the algae not to grow. And it's a, it's a mixture of having the plants do well and trying to read them maybe you have to raise your light a little bit or lower it do are the plants reaching for light it's all sort of like a, a formula of reading the plants and figuring it out like right here this tank here i can tell god there's so much re reflection let me switch the camera so this plant right here is water wisteria and there's beautiful swords in there i know but you can tell this plant is looking a little neglected and the foliage isn't super bright and, or not bright, but it's not super full, and the plant looks neglected. Granted, the java moss is doing great, but this is telling me that this plant is not getting enough lighting. So what I did then was I just literally lowered this light a little bit because yesterday it was at like this height. And what I do is I just slowly uh, lower, the, lower the light and I read the plants because if the plants are doing well, usually this entire ecosystem does better. And if some of you aquarium keepers don't have plants, it's actually a lot simpler. So just test your water, make sure you don't have a lot of excess nutrients in it. Um, if you have a window near the tank, that's not good. Uh, you wanna get rid of, you, you wanna move that or change it however you want to. Some people put blinds over it. Um, and also lift your light up or cut down the amount of time your light is on during the day. You just have less variables to work with. So hit me up in the comment section. Let me know, did this video help you get rid of your aquarium algae? Um, these are my tips and tricks on how to do this. So you gotta let me know in the comments. Did this help? 